Warriors. I hope you're having a very good night. I am, it's late, I'm exhausted. I have so many things to tell you about. First of all, if you watch me on Insta at all, you will know that I had a huge infection on my hand. I had to go get steroid injections in my hand because my hand was all crimped up. It was driving me crazy. And then I went and got injections and then how they feel better. However, yours truly got an infection in her hand. So the first night, my arm was blue, ballooned up. I couldn't even wear a watch. My arm was so swollen. I had ice packs on the whole night. The next day, I was just in horrible pain on Friday. Friday night was miserable, but I won't take pain medicine because I hate pain medicine. I just hate it. So I had ice packs. Went to dinner, had a drink, thought I'd be better. Saturday, my this little this knuckle is bright red, and I'm like, oh, you have an infection. Sister, you have an infection. So but I say to Bob, I don't know if I have to go to the hospital. I don't know what I have to do. We were going to dinner with a very a couple who are dear friends, and he's a physical medicine and rehab doctor. He's brilliant. His name's Mark. So I texted and said, would you mind looking at my hand? He's like, sure. So we go to dinner. He looks at it and goes, you have a soft tissue infection. Probably have to start an antibiotic. Oh, So he ordered me an antibiotic, and literally – 24 hours, eh, 48 hours later, I'm like so much better. Actually, now it's 72. I can actually move my hand. I was like, I feel so much better today, but it's just annoyed. It's just one of those things that these things happen all the time. I mean, literally, it's all the time. It's life, you know, when, when you have any health condition at all. This stuff happens, and there's nothing you can do about it. So anyway, um, I feel better today, and... Uh, been working and it's been a good weekend actually next week we have company and so I'm excited so I have a few fun things to discuss with you and um I'm not gonna do a whole unboxing but I'm gonna show you something so does anyone watch Emily in Paris I love that show I love it I love okay I know this is gonna surprise everyone I love the clothes oh my god the clothes are outrageous right they're just amazing so anyway um the first part of this season she emily is um wrapping some clothes from a very cool french band brand called ami so of course i had wanted to get um a sweater from ami but i couldn't find one that i liked and so anyway i was looking for an all brown bag because as you know brown and burgundy are the colors of the season so I found this adorable brown bag and I love it because there's no hardware. Well, there's hardware, but it's brown. So it doesn't matter if I'm wearing gold and silver. The other thing is that's super cute about this is it can be a cross, um, a cross, cross body, which I always love. You know, I love a good cross body. And you also can take take the strap. Now, I won't do this often, but you can also just wear it over your shoulder, which I think is also super cute. I went down the shoulder. Anyway, it's very lightweight, and I'm totally digging this. My new Ami brown bag. So cute. Very cute. All right. So I have a few more things for you. I, the other day, was cleaning something, and I fell at home. It totally bummed me out and I hurt my knee on top of my finger hurting. And I was like, oh. So I sat there for a minute and I thought, well, the good thing is I didn't fall when I was out in public. And I didn't like rip anything. I just hurt my knee. So it was my knee <laughs> and my hand this week. I was like, you're just a mess. But is it's fall and it's getting to be fall and everyone loves fall and it smells good and it's beautiful. Here's what I think about winter. Oh, listen, here's the thing. I love summer. I love spring. I love fall. I hate winter. I hate winter because ice and snow are not my friends. I don't feel anything below my knees so that it doesn't matter what shoes I wear. It doesn't matter what boots I wear. I could be in like Neanderthal boots and I still can fall. So I find it to be unusually stressful. So as I love this season, I know it will end quickly and I will be in winter. My least favorite season. 
when I used to live in Cleveland, I dreaded winter. Like, honestly, because no matter what, I fell during the winter. I always fell and I always hurt myself. I always ripped something. I always broke something. I'd be like, oh. So the past few winters, because I'm in D.C. most of the winter, it is absolutely so much more mild than it is in Cleveland. Nothing is as bad as Cleveland. Cleveland is like living in a tundra. But here is not nearly as bad. And then we go back and forth to New York. Bob helps me in New York. And we're not there. We try to stay out like when it's really bad because walking is hard there. But as long as I'm in D.C. and the weather is more temperate, I'm fine. But I'm going to enjoy the fall. I'm very excited about it. I love Halloween. I love Thanksgiving. We're doing a ton of entertaining. That's going to be super fun. So I'm excited about that. But in my head, I can't stop thinking that, you know, no, you know what's coming. Ice and snow and it's not that far away. And I hate it. I did pick something up that actually, mm, I have it in my car. I went to my Enslow shoes in the city and I had to get a pair of um, boots. I, I have um, Herman put on special um, soles on all my boots and shoes that are non-slip because we know I slip, we know I fall, we know I kiss the ground. So I was picking them up and I was looking through, um, they have all this stuff, accoutrement for your hands and your feet and everything. And my hand was hurting so bad Saturday. I thought maybe I get a brace, but I found these gloves and it said CMT gloves for people with Raynos. And I was like, that'd be me. When it's cold, my hands, I literally can't move them. They're like claws. I can't do anything. So he said, Herman, does this really work or is this like a gimmick? He's like, no, they're thin. He's like, what I hear is people keep them in their car or wherever they're going to be, and they just throw them on and they keep the hands warmer. So I did buy two pairs, one to keep in New York and one to keep in D.C. I'm going to put in my car and see if that helps because that's also another very unpleasant part of the winter. The other thing that's really hard when your hands don't move and you have to navigate the winter you ever tried to put your credit card or your money, your, your debit card into one of those slots and needed to pull it out and like it was too cold to do it? Well, here's the thing. I can't do it any day because I have no muscles in between my hands and fingers. So like pulling that out is always a nightmare. It's always requires a double, double fisted pull from me. I have to use both hands. It's a giant pain in the neck. So I do like that little um, swipey thing that you could do. That's better. Anyway, so I'm hoping that maybe these gloves will help with that. Also, if you have to clean your windows, that's also just something else that I hate to do when it's snowing. So anyway, I'm just trying to get everything ready. I'm going to get, oh, the other thing I started doing is putting a little salt in my car. So if it's slippery when I go to my car, I can put salt up. So I'm just thinking ahead, um, even though I'm jumping past my favorite seasons, I just have to be prepared. All right, so warriors, now that my hand feels better, now that my knee feels better from falling, now that I have my super adorably cute brown Ami little bag, which I just love. It's so cute, I think. Hi, warriors. It's Cheryl. Just wanted to say hi. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Cheryl. I'm a disabled adult. We talk about everything, fashion, living with a disability, uh, how we navigate. Um, I'm going to wish you all a farewell. I hope you are all having a great night. I hope you are all taking care of yourself. Sometimes I just like to share a little bit about life and what it's like and how it's not always perfect and not always roses. And... Uh, Warriors, you hang in there.